This video is on mobile electrical, HF, VHF, and UHF. First of all, this video is going to deal with electrical. Therefore, be safe. You don't want to end up like this guy or this car. Now, a few things you're going to need to get a good ground on your vehicle is a wire brush. You're also going to need some hardware, like nuts and bolts, as well as some washers. My preference is lock washers, and I also like to use locking nuts. You're also going to need some ring terminals. My preference is ring terminals over spade connectors. First and foremost, check all connection points and wire brush all surfaces. This will give you the best possible connection. Now on to ring connectors. When using ring terminals, make sure you use the rule of 45. 45 degrees between each connector. Always connect your radio equipment directly to the battery, as well as put a fuse right by the battery. Once you get the wire through the firewall, you should always use a distribution block. That allows you to have a single connection point for all your radios, so you get a very secure connection. Now let's look at wire size. If we look at this chart, it gives us an amp rating for the length of wire that we're using. For example, a standard HF radio uses 25 amps. The wire being 15 foot long, you should be using an 8 gauge wire. And for another example, you have an HF radio and a VHF radio both running together. Your HF radio using 25 amps, your VHF radio using approximately 10 amps. That would be 35 amps. And in this case, with it being 15 feet, we're between 6 and 8. So I would definitely use the 6 gauge wire in this application. Now, when securing the ground to the vehicle, make sure you use a lock washer, then the ring terminal, then a lock nut, and make sure that you have a secure connection point. Strapping should be used as much as possible. This is a standard copper strap. You can alleviate a lot of noise by strapping the doors, the engine area, anywhere there is any kind of joint. And let's not forget the antenna area. The closer you get to the antenna, the more important it is. And sometimes you have to get unconventional with your mounts to get proper grounding. A good rule of thumb to keep in mind with antennas is the vehicle is basically your counterpoise or your radials. I hope this video is useful. And 7.3s from N9LVS.